transforming ourselves. So transforming oneself and transforming oneself within means transforming oneself without. So this is on all levels, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Now, this happens when either we pass through a difficult situation in our lives, and most of us by the time we've got to my age have gone through a, a number of those, or you want to, uh, you want to initiate this uh, situation yourself. So in most cases, you're regenerating your soul. Um, transformation and uh, regeneration of your soul is, is not easy. It never is easy. You know, and it takes a lot of guts and courage to face up and face yourself. Self-transformation is, is not an option. Really, it's, um, it's fundamental to our existence and to our transition to our movements to homo luminous beings moving from Homo sapiens to Homo luminous, and this is where we start to, to dream a new world into being. In the transformation process, we're actively and we're consciously refining ourselves. It's through hard work, through, through discipline, that we achieve these results, and, and uh, you know, that reflects our strongest beliefs and our strongest values. All your unwanted personality traits are, you know, that we have, they're not your friends. The uncomfortable people that we have around us in situations, you know, we find that they're not our friends. The polluted environment around you and around us, that is not conducive and not friendly to us either. So it's about going after the things that you want, about learning new skills, chasing your desires. And that can be hard. And that's why most people don't bother. It's just in the, in the too hard basket. You know, we need to get off our ass and transform our lives into anything that you want. Anything that you want it to be, want it to, to be in this situation. As I talked about last week, you know, a lot of us are, are feeling about what's going on. You know, we, something, we know something's not right. On all different levels, from the atmosphere to the food to the water, everything is not right. And this is why we have this realization and this realization now that something has to be done. And self transformation is a huge part of that. But you know, with the right attitude and guidance, you can put yourself on a path to becoming who you truly want to be. Now, shamanic energy work is one of the most powerful tools for self-transformation. If any of you have, have uh, taken the time and gone through my website, www.jamiebeater.com, gone onto my metaphysical bio, you've seen that I've been trained in many different areas. But I found that it, working with shamanic energy medicine, working with meditation and mindfulness and bringing this, this fusion together is so powerful. You know, and we do this in, in several ways. And I'm going to go over this more next week and the weeks to come. But to start with, we have our, our basic building blocks. And let's just go over some of these now. And one of the first ones is, is to breathe and to slow down. You know, sometimes we pressure ourselves just a little too much to get into this process. Especially a lot of us were in this we're in this, this time, we're in this, in, this, um, in this life where it's very much a, a, a quick pill situation. If it doesn't happen instantaneously, you know, and I can't be bothered. If it takes a little bit of work, I can't be bothered either. You know, and this is what happens. But this it takes time. It's a process, it's a practice. But we need to slow down. And I'll be showing you soon, within the next week or two, about the momentum tunnel and how we can do that and what the momentum tunnel really is. But I found that meditation, mindfulness, it really is essential for our transformation. You know, and we can start now. We can take one or two deep breaths, just focusing on our breath. We can just close our eyes. <sighs> just close down any of those external processes we have through looking and just take one or two deep breaths and concentrating, feeling that 
the, the feeling as it goes in and out of your nose or your mouth. Just one or two. And that's the start of your meditation practice. If your mind wanders, it's okay. Just say okay and come back to the breathing. Feel that sensation of the breath moving in and out of your mouth, out of your nose. This is starting meditation. This is the start. Start reading. You know, reading and, and listening to podcasts is the driving factor to, to make a break, make or break a person's personality and their character. You know, if you're reading the wrong books or the wrong podcasts, it can have the opposite effect. But what a person has on their bookcase will tell you everything you need to know about that person. You know, your thoughts are shaped by the inputs you give your mind. Consuming this information over time, being submerged in it, changes the structure of your brain. It carves new neuro pathways, reshaping the way that you think, the way that you feel, and planting seeds of new ideas into your mind. Without doing anything more than reading, you start to, to value new things. Another way, choose the right community. You know, you may have heard <clears throat> people we spend the most time with are the most important. I was just saying that your, your five or six closest friends are what you're going to be and how you're going to be structured. You may not have all the intellectual friends around you, but if you're listening to their podcasts, if you're reading their books, they become like a friend. It goes into those neuro pathways in your mind. And it starts to shape our character and our personality. You know, if you are passionate about changing your body or becoming fit, you spend time with people who take this seriously. If you need a, a consistent and visible change in your life, you need to change your community and the people around you first. You know, Helen Keller said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much family, friends, even the strangers can be a huge advantage to you in becoming the type of person you want to be. Find the right crowd. It's almost always easier going through things with other people, other people around you. This is why I started our Facebook community, The Path of Life Mastery, Shamanic Journey Through Healing and Meditation. This is our community. Join us as we make a difference. I don't want you to just to think of it as, as another group. I want it to be more of a community. We're just starting out. We're up to about 80 members. Not many, no. But it's 80 important members. 80 members that I want to get closer to and to help to share the information I have and for them to share the information with me and with you. Now join us. Join us and we make a difference. To help you grow and to be a better person is to give importance also to your happiness. You know, when you're adopting ways to transform yourself, you need to make sure you choose the things that make you happy. You know, I've done other ventures and businesses and things where I've been conned, I've been lied to, you know, things have been pretty much stolen from me and I just wasn't happy. I wasn't in a happy place. I wasn't good. Now I'm back doing what I'm passionate about. I'm happy about doing it again. You know, I can talk about these things on and on. And I, and I meet people, we chat and the hours go by. Because I'm happy talking about this. This is what's important. This is what makes me happy. And I hope you find the thing that makes you happy too. Prioritise your health. Nothing will be good, 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 if your health is not good. You know, we all know how important their health is. It plays a huge role in keeping us ready for life's challenges. Anything that comes up is just so much easier. If we're healthier and fitter, we can get through it with. Get through it easier. You need to value your health. If you don't make time for your health, you'll have to make time for your illness. Let me say that again. If you... Don't make time for your health. You will have to make time for your illness. Another basic part of, 
of what I'm working with is just do it. Just start. You know, reading, listening to podcasts is good, but you need to get going. Get off your butt. Put effort into challenging yourself. Be a real life changer. You know, this is, this is about learning, learning to stay fit, mentally healthy, mentally, physically, um, so psychically, energetically, emotionally, all these areas. Learning to do this. And we understand that the importance of your health and learning to stay fit. That these two areas are two different things. Let me say that again. Understanding the importance of your health and learning to stay fit are two different things. Getting back into shape and achieving a fit body are the top of the list. We'll be working with other areas I'll talk about next week. The shamanically, we're working energetically. And you'll see how this comes in and how powerful and how strong this really is. And to do this, you can only do this by adopting a healthy lifestyle. From healthy food, meditation to working out, and a healthy sleeping routine. Everything is important. In fact, look at my blog I'm going to put out on Sunday. I'm going extra on Sunday there. It's quite interesting one. About sleep and also about, about naps, about siestas. Because I live in Spain and I love a good siesta. So have a look for that one on Sunday. So in conclusion, one of the most important ways to, to transform, self-transform, is to learn to start. Just start. Getting up and putting effort into change. That's the real life changer for you. Practice them. See how you become a new person with your own will and effort. You're about to become the positive and changed person you've dreamt of being. Keep on going. Happy transformation. And these transformations take time to set in. It's not going to happen in a couple of days. It's not going to happen in a couple of weeks. You know, if you look at the, the teaching, the scientific facts, it can take up, up to two months, up to 66 days for this to be imprinted into your lifestyle. This is what we need to commit ourselves to. And I think I'll maybe introduce some challenges in the, in the near future where you can start to do these things for you, to challenge you. And I'll have some sort of incentive in there as well. So, happy self-transformation. Have a fantastic Friday. Have a happy weekend. If you're not a member or part of our group, hey, have a look on Facebook. Yeah, I'll put the link um, down below or when I transfer this through onto, onto YouTube or onto the other social media sites. Join us. Make a difference. Help me. I don't know everything, but I'm certainly willing to learn, and I hope you are too. So, I look forward to seeing you soon. Aho. Namaste with love. Bye for now.